it certainly has been a great start to the soccer season. And here joining me now to talk more about women's soccer is senior midfielder Sydney Slavik. Sydney, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. So the women's soccer team obviously won the national championship last year. A bit of a late congratulations there. Thank What's you. that been like uh, kind of as a now the defending champs and playing with that little title attached to you? I mean, to admit, um, I'm not really over the national <laughs> championship. I still get chills. I know most of the girls on the team watch the videos and still get chills from that. So I think that's kind of been the momentum we've been carrying this season to just want to defend the national championship and make everyone proud and like keep it going and just really work hard for each other and for other seniors that have the like the last chance to finally do this one more time so it's definitely uh, something that's keeping us going just realizing that that's on our shoulders and have the coaches been kind of instrumental in you know maybe setting the focus a little bit differently that it's a new year or is there still kind of a remembering of last year going into the Yeah, definitely at times the coaches can tell that we're kind of getting off track, just losing our mindset. So they're working really hard right now on keeping us up and giving us confidence and telling us that we need to work harder and put every little bit of ourselves into every practice. Well, I'm glad that the coaches are making sure to do that. Now, you know, so you've been on this team for four years, you're now kind of a, an older figure, a bit more of a leader. What's the camaraderie for the team been like over the four years that you've been here? And then how are you embracing being in a bit more of a leadership role this year as a senior? It's definitely changed. I know my freshman year, I was given the name Baby Slade. And then <laughs> as I've worked my way to senior, they're kind of like, wow, we need to give you a different name. It needs to be like Baby Mama Slade. So <laughs> I'm kind of more of like a mother figure, but not really. But if anyone ever needs like anyone to talk to, I'm kind of that person because we have different leaders on the team who are more vocal or do different things. So I'm kind of just that like shoulder you need every now and then. So I definitely feel like every person contributes to the camaraderie on the team and everyone's definitely really close with each other. And it sounds like you've kind of embraced that motherly role as being an older figure. Has that been the case? Yeah, definitely. I kind of like that role too. Like I kind of like being in like good standing with everyone on the team and just kind of like having everyone know that I'm always there for them too. Well, I'm sure you've made such an impact on the younger girls and it's really great to see that. And then kind of transitioning back to more on the field, this weekend you guys have Colorado. Anything specific you guys have been working on this week going to play against them? We've definitely had to change the way we're, we normally play throughout the past games. I know that one of our center backs got a red card last game, so she's out this game. So we're kind of switching a little bit and trying new things and kind of seeing where people fit. And it, uh, I would say definitely a lot of the younger girls are stepping up and definitely some of the older girls are too, just to kind of, you know, just keep playing the way we are to defend our national championship. And do you think there's a lot of pressure in the in the locker room to defend that championship or have been keeping things light in the middle of the year? Um, I definitely don't feel like there's any pressure. I kind of think people keep it to themselves more. Um, but... I definitely don't really see it as much of an issue. I, I think a lot of the girls on the team are very strong and they're very willing to keep it going and just not really let all the pressure affect them too much, which is incredible. Like all of them are just amazing people. Well, Sydney, thank you so much for being here. We really appreciate it. And once again, you can catch Sydney and the rest of the women's soccer team on, on Friday against Colorado at McAllister Field.